To the faculty and staff of regional programs, thank you for joining us today. At the outset of this project, the following vision for the future was established as our guiding light to which decisions would be made. We aspire to have UMS regional clinics become the leader in providing primary care services in the regions we serve. The first step to take in moving down this pathway was to establish a clinical infrastructure that will enhance and support our faculty and staff to deliver a high level of patient care in this new era of value-based health care. Would like to remind everyone we started three plus years ago addressing the key questions of why we should change our existing model, what should we change in order to become a leader in providing high quality medical services, how should we go about affecting this change, and of course, when should we implement this initiative. In January 2017, we sent a team of our faculty and staff to Rhode Island and Chicago to assess the EHR products as part of our selection process. Afterwards, this team recommended GE Centricity as the EHR product that would best meet our strategic efforts, and it was approved by regional program senior leadership. UMS senior leadership approved regional program to move forward with this project in April 2017. Since April, we have expended countless hours in working through and implementing the plans associated with this initiative. On a personal note, I have been very pleased with how the faculty and staff of regional program have responded to this initiative, as shown by their extra effort devoted towards the success of this project. We have been faced with numerous challenges when one considered the collective whole of what's transpired during this fiscal year at UMS. However, the cost of whom you are and your commitment to this process, I can say with great, great confidence that we're headed in the right direction and this project is the first key step in transforming this division to better serve our customers and meet the future vision we've set for ourselves. Hi, I'm Mark Jansen, Medical Director. I want to take a moment to thank all of those on our team that have worked tirelessly for months to get us to this point. Throughout the process, we kept in mind the frustration expressed by so many providers throughout the enterprise regarding the slowness and the balkiness of our previous system. With the development of our singular platform and the technological upgrades in hardware and the speed of connectivity, I am confident that once you are familiar with the new platform, you will be impressed. Keep in mind that all of us continue to have our day-to-day -day responsibilities throughout this entire process. Our effort was genuine, but our product will not be perfect. We have plans in place to assist you quickly when things are not going right. There is a methodology to our effort. Try to maintain your composure if you hit a snag and work with us not against us to make things right. Change is always hard. The way we practice, how we document, how others measure our quality of care seems to be constantly changing. Face it, electronic records are here to stay. We have done our very best to give you a tool you can work with to get your documentation done and keep your life outside of medicine as unencumbered as possible. I'm Mark Dill. I'm the director of UAMS South Central and the executive sponsor of the Revenue Cycle Centralization Project. The goal of our Revenue Cycle Centralization Project is to increase the efficiency and effectiveness of the billing, coding, and payment posting processes, coding, documentation, and education processes by ensuring consistent and standardized best practices for billing and collections through centralized revenue cycle functions. Centralization of the revenue cycle will also encourage a more standardized approach to system setup and collecting patient information and help ensure that all the necessary information for both registration and billing is collected consistently by each center from each patient. By cultivating this uniformity, UAMS regional programs can more accurately set the stage for reliability 
among eight centers for the registration processes while simultaneously uh, limiting potential claims denials at the back end and related uh, incorrect or insufficient patient information which prevents uh, clean claims transmission. Accurate claims will help speed reimbursement, boosting cash flow and potential revenue while decreasing the need for staff to follow up on denials. Centralizing tasks in those functional areas will allow each center to free center clinical staff and other support personnel to assign more time to direct patient care. Let's talk a little about our current state. At this time, we have hired 21 of the 31 staff members centrally needed for the revenue cycle process. We are now performing complete revenue cycle processes for two centers, all hospital billing uh, for all but one center and various other functions for each center. I want to thank both the central revenue cycle staff and the revenue cycle personnel remaining in the centers simultaneously keeping the current billing processes going while building a centralized PM platform moving forward has been a massive undertaking as you can imagine. Nothing is ever perfect out of the gate, unfortunately, and there are always issues with a project this massive and encompassing. If we continue to work together, we can make this project a resounding success. We all have a vested interest in seeing this project succeed. If this project is not a success, we all fail. And I want to thank each and every one of you for your contribution, your positivity, helpfulness, and cooperation to make this process less painful and more accurate. Each center's continued feedback is important in helping us move forward to that success. Hello, I'm Ron Cole. I've been asked to give you an update on our EHR centralization work. First, let me say your IT team is working very hard to bring you a product that is of your design as determined by governance that provides a platform from which patient services and teaching are efficient and effective. In preparation for connecting to this new platform, all centers will connect via an upgraded 100 megabit per second internet connection that will allow for seamless connectivity. The majority of the upgrade infrastructure includes redundant circuits to maximize system uptime. For those sites in Wave 1, end-user training started March 12th, and just before we go live on the new unified system, there will be mock clinics <clears throat> that will ask staff to use the knowledge learned in super-user training and end-user training. I encourage you to support and challenge one another during these mock clinics. It is your opportunity to apply what you have learned from these training classes without cost to you or to the patient. The Monday following those mock clinics is our go live. Let me speak to the process of data conversion and migration for a moment. While we are moving from various legacy centricity systems to one common unified centricity installation, you should know that the data transfer will not be 100%. Conversions like this never are, and we are no exception. Recall that all our sites have managed their own centricity installations for years as they deemed best for their programs. Inevitably, each site utilized this resource differently, creating a wide range of variables. As we move to the unified instance of centricity, it is not possible to accommodate all these variables. Hence, governance has designed our, our common platform and as a result, some data elements will not migrate. Hello, I'm Don Hurd. At this point, I will share some information as to the financial aspects of our EHR project, our project goals, and some overall network financial matters. In relation to our EHR budget, I believe that we have been good stewards of our financial resources and that we are accomplishing the tasks needed to make our project successful and staying within our budget. We project that barring some unexpected event or delay, we should complete the project within budget. Concerning project goals, we are continuing to work on the goals we shared with center leadership during our roadshow a few months ago. We have established baseline for goals related to provider, employee, 
and patient satisfaction. In addition, we are committed to and planning for every EHR user to receive appropriate and adequate training on system features that they will utilize in their roles as providers, nurses, MAs, and support staff. In addition, we are working to create systems and methods that will allow us to achieve MGMA best practice levels in accounts receivable management and collections. In relation to general financial matters, we have completed our internal budget hearings and are in the process of consolidating our centers and central office budgets into a network budget for presentation to UAMS executives. In addition to presenting normal budget information, we will present comparative reports showing FTE counts at July 1, 2017, the beginning of the current physical year, February 5, 2018, the day prior to the beginning of the reduction in force, and July 1, 2018, next budget year. During this presentation to UAMS executives, we will review how the EHR and centralization changes have impacted our number of employees and discuss efficiencies provided by the EHR conversion and centralization plan. Another important financial matter relates to our recent review at each center of our maintenance and operation funds for the remainder of this physical year. Center directors and others were able to identify approximately $300,000 in expense reductions. These savings can be used in the future for capital needs or important operational programs. <music>